a vengeance could be heard all across the Great South Bay on Long Island South Shore. Thousands of boaters are lining the canals and docks, gearing up for their holiday plans on the water. Just getting the boat ready for the season. For educator Sammy Gurgis, it means checking to make sure everything is ready safety wise for his guests when he takes the helm this weekend. So just, you know, being cognizant of every, every, all the surroundings and everyone that's around me. You know, to prevent any any sort of accident and to minimize the risk. And there is great risk. Last year, police recorded 14 boat accidents in the Great South Bay. One person was killed and five injured. At the Bayshore dock, police showed off the vessels they'll use to watch for unsafe drivers, especially those under the influence. Besides the county boats, Islip is adding its harbor boat and a dozen marine patrol officers. The police commissioner said intoxicated boaters should expect no mercy. If you make the decision to drink and drive, we will arrest you. But operator error by sober captains is involved in half of all boating accidents. While Suffolk County mandates operators take a safety course, statewide no license is required. George Fontaine teaches boat safety. He points to the capsizing five years ago in Oyster Bay of a family boat where three children died when the waters were overcrowded. So there's no brakes on a boat. Okay, so you don't think you're going to go out there and, and run along at 15 knots and then all of a sudden stop dead. You're not going to do it. Fontaine says the number one safety must for any holiday boater is to have plenty of life saving flotation devices on board. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Under the law, repeat offenders of unsafe boating face stiffer penalties than first timers.